Welcome back to Done With Depression. We are catching up on the voice of knowledge. If you guys haven't been watching those videos or you don't remember where we left off, you can check the playlist above right here. I'll have a little uh, playlist that you can click on to see the other videos that I've done so far. So we are on chapter four, I wanna say, and it's called A Night in the Desert. And basically he's out in the middle of nowhere in the desert and he looks up at the stars and this is what he says. I was, in, I was alone in the middle of the desert perceiving so much beauty. I saw eternity the endless, the infinite in those stars, and I knew without a doubt that the stars are alive. The infinite, our mother earth, all of creation is alive. It is one living being. So if you haven't checked out uh, Ram Dass, R-A-M-D-A-S-S, -S, uh, he kind of mentions the same thing that we're all one being, we're all alive, and he has some good talks and videos that you can check out too. But for this chapter, he realizes that the universe is alive and that we're all one being. And then his perception switches and he realizes that the stars are looking back on him. So he's looking up at the stars, realizing that we're all alive, we're all one. Then he sees the stars looking back on him and he sees how small his body is on the earth. And then he goes another level and says that since we're all one, he realizes that his body is actually made up of the billions of stars in the sky. So they are living, they are me, I am them. And then he goes on, uh, infinite in his body is a continuation of the infinite around him. So just like the sky is infinite and the stars are infinite and the energy is infinite, he realizes that that, as he perceives outward, can also be turned and perceived inward. We are all one, we are all life, and light is the messenger of life. So again, he's just interpreting um, the same star reference saying, all the light that the stars give off. If the stars are me and I am the stars, I am giving off that light as well. Um, our eyes are like mirrors that have a brain behind them. So again, going with the star reference, um, if you think about like a lighthouse, how it gives off light, and we are beaming this light outwards, and our brain is behind it trying to interpret it all. The brain analyzes, makes analysis, interprets, and describes the light. Once we describe it, it becomes not real because it, because it is our story that we saw. So um, there's another philosopher that has something similar to this, but if I were to watch a sunset on TV, and describe the sunset to you and then you were to go out and watch the same sunset you would have a completely different different experience going out and actually seeing the sunset yourself than watching it on tv or me um, explaining it to you so he's saying that what we have right now in the present is the only story that we have after that, we can describe it exactly how it was. We can video it and show it to someone else. But the only experience that we're truly having is right now in the moment. Uh, we are artists creating our own version of life. And we are scared of the truth because the lies don't want to die. So we go living our life, artists creating our own versions of life meaning we're trying to describe everything around us and we're trying to create our own version. And when we experience something and we explain it to someone else, that is our interpretation of it. And that is our art, is the story that we're telling to someone else. And the lies don't want to die. So our brain, you can call it the inner critic from the other book, but there's all of this going, in our, going on in our head 
and it keeps coming back and keeps trying to reveal itself because it doesn't want to die. So the more the lies are sticking in your head and the more that you pass those lies on to other people through your story, the more the lies um, are given life and they don't die. So that was a pretty short chapter, but make sure you check out the other ones if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time on Done With Depression.